Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I would like also to thank Rabbi Menachem Barkan for inviting me to this important, very important conference. Ladies and gentlemen, we are standing at a crossroad. A moment of grace in which a window has opened up before us, providing the opportunity for meaningful educational work dealing with the remembrance of the Holocaust and its meanings. The refugees who flood Europe are not only a social or economic challenge. This is a phenomenon that strengthens the extreme right-wing parties. We start to see disturbing cases of xenophobia which oblige us to mark again the Holocaust as a warning sign. The Holocaust as an historical event of tremendous proportions is just beginning to take shape in the collective identity and memory. Like a mountain whose dimension can, can be perceived only from a distance, the study of the Holocaust and its significance for the Jewish people and the entire world requires the perspective that comes only with time. Now, after 70 years, attention to the Holocaust has emerged from the limited circle and historians and survivors. It is now the focus of academic research and reflection in diverse philosophical and sociolo sociological disciplines, the creative arts, and even the print and electronic media. The opening of the archive in Eastern Europe and the willingness of these nation, nations to deal with their past make uh, possible nowadays to cope with these issues in the academic and educational fields. The changing atmosphere resulted in the establishment of a new Holocaust Museum here in Europe, including this moving one here in Riga. Thank God and thank uh, Reb Menachem. The student of the early 21st century has moved from an analysis of the victim's experience to a more empathetic attitude towards both the experience and, the victim, and its victims. We can certainly report that more young people are choosing to study the subject comprehensively and beyond the formal instructional <coughs> settings. They seek first and foremost to know, to understand, and to connect. The empathy is, is an expected outcome of any study of the comple comple complex and tragic reality of the Jews during the Holocaust. It comes from distance of three generations. The students understand that the Holocaust is an inescapable element in their identity as Jews and as a human being. They understand that they bear the responsibility for set setting its initi initiative and significance in their lives, both as individual and as a part of the universal society. Some people believe that the Holocaust teach, teaches us about the needs for Jewish sovereignty. Some say that studying the Holocaust makes us more sensitive to democratic values and to the hazard of racism. As Aleph Bet Yoshua, a prominent Israeli author, remarked, 
the Holocaust, like any other major event in history, can lend itself to any lesson, even contradictory one. It is responsibility as educators to guide our students through the maze of potentially contradictory data, assisting them in their search for conclusion. Holocaust education is relevant to the student current reality and social environment. In the Western world, Holocaust study among Jews enhance their commitment to the value code of their society. Other ethnic and minority groups find lessons in Holocaust that resonate with their personal and historical experience as well. Holocaust education creates a commitment to a better world, one that is tolerance towards, minor towards minorities and different groups, is free of uh, fanatical nationalism and racism, and believe in democratic concept and governments. Researchers have noted that history tries to reconstruct, represent, and criticize the past. Society gives meanings, meaning to a particular past event through remembrance. Professor Eliezer Schweid, a renowned Israeli philosopher, regards the remembrance of the Holocaust as two-sided. On the one hand, the Holocaust severely impressed, Im, impor, impoverished the Jewish people by destroying vi vibrant cultural and collective worlds. On the other hand, heroic episodes of survival and national revival emerge from the story of the Holocaust. Both of these fossi are extremely valuable in discussing the educational significance of the Holocaust. Which story should we tell and what will be our emphasis for the next generation? What impact do we as educators want the Holocaust to have on our identity individually and collectively? How does the imperative to remember apply to the individual and to hum humanity as a whole? What is education, uh, uh, educator's role? While much has lost culturally, great centers and, and uh, learning, literature and uh, language that cannot be resurrected, what can be revived within the educational systems? Can we revisit the past with our students and pass to them a sense and understanding of their heritage? Although we can come up with other ways of uh, approaching the topic, it is customary among educators to divide the educational significance of the event in three separate categories. The victims, the perpetrators and their collaborators, and the bystanders. The perpetrators. Different th theories and explanation will be presented dealing with the question whether they, were the, 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 whether they were ordinary men or whether there was a unique component in their personality and background which made them into murderers. A question will be presented. Is the potential to become a murderer is a part of human nature likely to emerge under certain circumstances? This approach focuses on the choices made 
at each crossroad. We wish to develop the ability to, to detect and identify dangerous transcendences. <coughs> the bystanders. This world still unfortunately witness massacres and, gen and genocides. Syria, nowadays, is an example in which we find ourselves in the position of bystanders. Such phenomenon as prejudice and xenophobia is, is frequent in most societies and is relevant today in Europe. <clears throat> the Holocaust was possible because the Jews had been isolated and their being aligned to society and become an accepted fact. We must constantly examine our attitude towards minorities and those who are different. The refugees question force us today to confront the bystanders issue and the, in, the important of taking responsibility for, for what is happening in one's society. We need to stress the importance of personal responsibility of every individual and to an, in, an, enhan enhance the awareness to the duty and the ability to make a difference. The victims, understanding the victims is, the, is an important part in conducting with the Holocaust. The process of dehumanization the victims were subjected to was essential in the implementation of the murder of the Jews. In order to understand the true impl implication of the action of both perpetrators and bystanders, it's necessary to learn about the victims and not only about their representation in the eyes of Nazi ideology. There was an unbelievable contrast between the image the Nazi had and the true identity of the Jews. Educational work today aims to reinstate the human dimension of the victims to, to, to threat them in a personal and, and human way, to see them as being part of the unique and vital world. Having said that, I would like now to uh, specify some educational goals which I consider to be important ones. I don't know how, how many time I have, so I'd like, I'd like to, to do it. Okay, I'll cope with it. The human being as a center. The human being at the center. The individual human being stand at the center of teaching the Holocaust. This means that we don't talk only about mass murder, Nazi policy, and the uh, chain of historical and military event. It involved an at attempt to understand human being and the manner in which they cope coped with extreme situation and ethical dilemmas. The story of the Holocaust is first and foremost a human story. <clears throat> Any discussion of its victims, its perpetrators, or those who stood by and watched must attempt to understand the human being involved. The encounter between students and the simple people who were present in the event of the Holocaust, their, di their daily life and, and reality, must serve as the 
foundation for meaningful educational work. Only in such a manner will it be possible to create a real and intimate connection between the learner and the subject matter and to begin to recognize the difference between our own period and that of the Holocaust. Examination of the various crossroads at which Jews, German, and others stood and the dilemmas and challenge which they faced will allow the educational process to progress from the particular historical situation to a standing of the universal human voice. Sounding, sorry, sounding of the universal hum human voice. Providing the, the, the history with the human face, the examination of the human ex uh, compli compli complexi complexities, sorry, individual, uh, in complexities individual, help to prevent the dangers of they, uh, of banalization of uh, one dimensional picture. <clears throat> okay, I think for, for this, well, I'll keep something for the next, for the, for the next conference. Uh, I have some more six points, so uh, if you, you want, you can read it uh, by the article that uh, we'll publish after the conference. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Thank you.